The film begins with a beach scene. A young man was sitting in his car. His name is Josh. The friend of that boy comes to meet him. They worked as a lifeguard in the sea. Josh's friend goes to his work after meeting him. Then Josh meets his female friend who was also there. After some time, a swimmer is eaten by a shark. Josh's friend was in the sea at that time. The third guard alerts them about sharks by reading a siren. Hearing it, Josh goes into the sea to help his friend. But he didn't know that shark was so near to him. As Josh goes near him, the shark eats his friend. Then we see a time from one year later. We see Josh there. He was still in regret that he couldn't save his friend. He was watching the news on TV. It was about staying away from that beach because a lot of sharks were seen on the beach. Then Josh leaves for his new job. He worked in a food mart now. This food mart was near the beach. A girl was stealing something in the mart and her name was Jane. Guard of the mart witnesses this. That girl runs to his friend who worked in the mart. Then guard and the manager come to them saying that you stolen police will be here shortly. Josh also sees her friend, who came in the mart with her friend. Then the police officer comes to the manager. We see a couple in the car in a parking lot. The girl had a dog that she loved so much. She brought the dog to the mart with her. There was a thief in another car that came to loot the mart with her friend. The police officer brings Jane into the parking lot. He locks her in the car. Here we get to know that Jane was his daughter. Then that police officer was about to go when his sight catches a man. Seeing him, the police officer suspects him so he chases him holding his gun. That man goes to the manager's room and asks him to open up the locker. Manager opens the locker but it was all empty. Then that man takes manager somewhere by imprisoning him. That police officer seizes him. Other companion of the thief seizes Josh's friend. He asks the police officer to free his friend. When Josh sees her friend being imprisoned, he gets afraid. James' friend takes her out of the car. He says that I lost my job because of your theft. She goes to the mart to tell the manager that her friend isn't responsible for theft. Later, James' friend sits in his van. The thief had pointed a gun on Josh's friend. Josh moves forward to save her friend, but something strange starts happening there. In fact, there raised a sea storm. The whole city was flooded with water and everything destroyed. Mart was flooded with water as well. Then we see Josh in the water. Whereas, a thief sits on the roof of the mart. Then we see Josh's friend and that police officer there. The police officer's leg was injured. Josh's friend goes to bring something to apply on his leg. Then James also comes there. His father asks that how did she come out of the car. She tells that she was brought out by her friend. She starts worrying about her friend as she thought he got died in storm. Later, the manager and the guard also climb up the shelf. Then Josh sees his female friend who was still in the water. Josh climbs the shelf with her. A couple was stuck in the car under the water and they were thinking about how to survive. Josh's friend was still alive. He breaks the glass of his van using a sharp edge tool and comes outside. Josh's friend brings one of those thieves outside and climbs him up the shelf. All the survivors were sitting on the shelf. They knew that the water level will rise up. There's a chance of earthquake too. Therefore, both of Josh's friends go to check the mart's main door, while the guard goes to check the back door of the mart, because they wanted to go outside using any open door. But then Josh senses a danger coming outside the water. He asks everyone to come at the shelf. Both of Josh's friend comes at shelf, but a shark eats the guard. They all got to know that there's a shark in the water. There's a danger for them there. Josh tells that this shark is so long. That couple in the car also sees a car under the water. Then a shark attacks their car's window. They both get more scared seeing it. Now that shark was revolving around the shelf. Seeing it, James asks that why it is revolving around us. Josh's friend says that it is doing this to decide who is it going to eat. 
then an earthquake strikes there. A heavy electrical wire hangs upside to the water. They think if this wire falls in the water, we would die. Josh says that I'll turn the main switch off, but Josh's friend forbids him of doing this because his arm was injured. Joshi's friend says that your rinsing blood will attract the shark. Joshi's male friend knocks on an idea. He makes an armor on his body using stuff from the mark. He uses a pipe to breathe in the water. Then he jumps into the water after getting ready. Meanwhile, shark comes close to him and doesn't harm him. Mark's stuff was lost in the water. Sea snakes were also in the water. Josh's friend was about to reach the main switch, but his pipe turned short. Josh held its other side. Josh's friend throws the pipe out of his mouth. He successfully turns off the main switch. He tries to reach the surface, but couldn't do to heavy suit, and he dies there. On the other side, James' friend helps that couple in the parking lot. He throws a mutilated hand of a dead body, and a shark goes to that hand. Bailing the chance, they start climbing the other car, leaving their car. But then that shark starts moving towards them. But that man throws their dog in the water, and that shark goes near it. Therefore, they get saved. Then Josh and that thief plan to go outside through a ventilation window. The manager says that he'll go first. He was hanging in the air when the shark comes and eats him. In the meantime, Jamie's friend tries to go outside using a pipe but he gets fallen in the water and the shark goes near him. Then he immediately moves toward Hat Couple. He starts climbing their car, but the boy gets fallen into the water while helping her. Then he tries to climb up the car, but the shark eats him too. On the other side, the thief plans to hunt the shark using a hook. Hook was present at a bit distance from their shelf. The police officer says that he'll bring the hook. Everyone explains him that he is injured and bleeding so Shark will come smelling him, but that police officer doesn't pay a heed. He was about to jump into the water when his daughter Jamie jumps before him. She was moving forward to bring Hook, but then that Shark was also chasing her. She gets a hammer and she attacks the Shark with it so it leaves her. Jane brings the Hook and climbs the shelf again. Now they hang the Hook with a piece of meat in the water. But Shark passes beside it and doesn't eat it. A survivor asks that why didn't the shark eat this meat? On which the thief says that it wants fresh flesh. Saying this, he takes out his gun. He grabs that girl and throws her into the water. In fact, he wanted to hunt the shark through this girl. But then the companion of that thief hits him from the back. Then he inserts a hook in one of his companions and throws him in the water. Shark comes and eats him here. Shark had lost in their trap too. In the meantime, James' friend and that girl were waiting for help, but then that girl sees her dog. The dog comes near him. She becomes happy seeing it. James' friend produces a sound using a rod and Jane hears this too. She goes to the parking area to save her friend. Josh also goes behind her to help them. Jame and Josh closes the upper door of the mart so that when they open the door of the parking door, water fro upper side doesn't come there. As they reach the parking lot, Jame's friend warns them that Shark is so near to them. Josh and Jame climb up the car of Jame's father. Jame tells that it's her father's car and it has guns in it. Josh takes the gun out of the car and climbs up again. Ash fires, he falls down. Now the shark was moving towards him speedily, but Josh shoots it dead. Everyone comes at the upper floor of the mart. Then that thief and Josh's friend sees a car stuck on the way to exit. Josh was preparing to blast the car using a high voltage current so that they can make their way out. Now the earthquake strikes again, which results in the destruction of the mart. Due to this, stuck shark also gets released. Josh gets to know about this. He asks the thief to get out of the water. As the shark comes out of the water, Josh shoots him to 